Hey everybody, you're probably looking at our beautiful example of the E30 M3 that we have for auction. We thought we'd give you a little rundown and a story regarding how we got the car and where it is now. So jumping straight in, we got the car for somebody in the UK, a friend of ours, last year, probably last summer, and it was from a place in Suzuka which is right next to the Suzuka circuit. So I remember passing this dealership on my right hand side and I could see inside and I could see Lamborghinis, Maseratis, Bentleys, things like that. Finding those places in Japan isn't that easy. There's not a lot of exotic car dealers, you know, dotted around easily for you to find. So it was the first time for me to see the place and I knew I had to go and have a look because I was thinking, if that's their front lineup, what is behind there? So I ended up parking up, going inside, and at the time we were looking for an E30 M3, not necessarily the convertible, but we were after a clean E30 M3. I go into the showroom and I could see things like a 996 GT3, uh, I could see an old Maserati, I could see bikes, I could see a Testarossa. And sort of sandwiched between those cars was this really nice E30 M3. And at first I didn't notice that it was the convertible. I, I just thought, wow, you know, we were looking for one of these, here it is. Um, but as I got closer to the car, I could see that it was the convertible version. And, you know, not a lot of people know that there was a convertible version and for me it was the first time to see one in the in you know right in front of me in the flesh so i was kind of blown away a little and initially i could walk around the car and i could see that it was obviously extremely clean um, and then the dealer came over and he passed me the keys i was able to open it freely and he sort of disappeared so i could thoroughly check this car out. I was just completely blown away by how clean this was. It, it was pretty much like it just came out of the factory sort of thing. And then I started to get into the smaller details, you know, like the mileage, um, there's some service history, there's some books with the car as well. And I think this particular car only has around 37,000 miles on the clock. So that really reflects, well, the condition really reflects the mileage, I think. Anyway, I'm still blown away at this point and I think I, you know, I really do have to sit in this car and just, you know, feel what it would be like to own one of these myself kind of thing. So I jumped in and it was not, you know, like how sometimes you can get cars and they sort of feel tired when you sit inside them and, you know, there's little scratches here and there. This car didn't have any of that. It was, it was like sitting in a fresh seat that kind of fit so snug against your body and there weren't any cracks in the leather. There was no stains on the seats, the plastics, the dash, the leather was just spotless and um, it became apparent that yeah the car probably wasn't used that much and has been in a showroom possibly for most of its life because of its rarity I think um, you know you got things like the hood it looks like it's never been opened I can't find I couldn't find sorry a crease or a, a mark on it um, I couldn't find a mark on the seats and then you've got these little touches that just sort of jump out to you, you know, the M stripes and things like that. They're kind of dotted around the car and they, they pop against such a dark interior. So I was really, really, really in love with that contrast. Um, the body itself, I mean, we're talking scratch and dent free completely. And the paint, like I said, it, it looks like it just rolled out of the factory. Um, and yeah, the same for the runnings of the car, the mechanics of the car. I was able to fire it up and let it idle for some time. I was able to, um, you know, move it forwards and backwards and things like that. And it's literally faultless. There is nothing wrong with this car. This, 
This car would belong in someone's collection. Um, you know, I mean, for a car that there's not many more than 800 ever made, I don't think there's that many on the road recently. I haven't seen any, I haven't heard of any. So we had to take it, we had to buy it basically. And yeah, I think the next owner of this, whoever you are, whoever is bidding on this car is no way going to be disappointed. I would go as far as to say that this is the best example in the world, period.